God help me. God give me the fucking strength. Uh, Men, sports, LeBron James, glasses. My dad's coming to town next week. Okay. Uh. Mm. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. Flubbed. Mm. Uh. Excuse me. Mm. Hi. So uh, we're doing the uh, swastika painting show with Arturo Vega tonight. Uh, Arturo Vega, he's a pretty famous student in the New York circles and those who, uh, I guess, know punk rock, what have you. He um, he worked with the Ramones, did a lot of their uh, album covers and T-shirts and photos. Grew up with the Cats, and uh, tonight we got these fluorescent swastikas here. Swastikas on the Hudson. Who's the artist? Arturo Vega, my distant relative. Well, we were related. I'm Sergio Vega. He's Arturo Vega. How are you related? <laughs> So, Arturo, how did you get involved with the antagonist movement? I don't remember. Must have been a cute boy that asked me or something like that. A cute that. boy? Yeah. I see all men around here. But let's carry on with the interview. So was the he asked me, color? not you, Chris. Is it me? Arturo. Oh, yes, attention. It's gone. <laughs> Ciao. Uh, it's not that I was ignoring the first two questions. I really didn't remember. Uh, but the fact is that I'm involved now, I have no idea how I got involved. But I'm very glad I got involved. These guys are doing the, uh, the real thing. I don't think anything like this has been done in a long time, probably since the 80s, when Keith Haring and Basquiat and Richard Hamilton came from the streets to do art that they choose to call graffiti because it was from the streets. Ever since, art has been a career and people trying to make a career out of their art talents has been what dominates the art world. And this is the first time that I see something happening from the streets. And so that's why you call it's it fucking real thing. great. It's the real thing, yeah. yeah. This is not a career. You know, people are, that are, I see involved in this is not because they're interested in making a career. These are people are interested in doing what they have to or want to or know how to do. These are real artists. Would you say you believe in the process of making, not in the end product? No. It's usually the best part of it. Uh, you know, the trip is worth everything. Definitely. I mean, we'll find out about it from him like months later that he there, was there. There's going to be some like girl who walks in, it's like Brazilian supermodel, but really it's going to be Ray Ray Ramon in a Brazilian supermodel suit. He's a crafty motherfucker. He is. Crafty. We'll have like something in the bathroom that says, I'm still alive, Ray Ray, or like yeah. Ray Ray was here. That's true. And then we'll see it and we'll think it's bullshit and then we'll get the letter like months later I that it was actually there. him. I know. <laughs> He'll send us some money and go. I love when he does that. Yeah. All right. And I thought, some people are going to respond to the fluorescent, some people are going to respond to this. I was trying to get everybody, yeah. and I thought, I'll make for a series. And the reason why I decided to settle on the fluorescent was because fluorescent colors, even though they do exist in nature, they only exist in some fishes and some birds, yeah. but they are never quite like this. And I thought, plus they're fucking lethal for your eyes. Yeah. You go blind, they literally kill some cells in your eyes when you look at the rest of colors. And I thought that matched the concept of man-made madness. <laughs> Nazism right. is man-made evil. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. You know what I mean? And I thought, that's not. It made sense, put them together. So that's why I decided to do this one first, then I never did the rest. I was almost always into the basics, trying yeah, to yeah, make things as simple as possible. I'm into like, as I re your brain reacts to primary colors. Yeah. We are conditioned because light 
it's a combination. White light is nothing but you know combination of the primary colors. So primary colors are in white light. Your brain reacts to that. Yeah. Everything else is trying to make things pretty. Excuse me. Must have been that pizza I ate. This will be on the outtakes reel.